Critics Choice Awards, Golden Globes and Emmy nominations. Better Call Saul is an outstanding drama series, especially the last season. Bob Odenkirk, Rhea Seahorn, Giancarlo Esposito or Jonathan Banks. Just a few actors and actresses that make this show as good as it is. But besides that, there's one thing that makes this show, especially season 6, so good. To make things clear, I am not going to talk about the well-written plot, I'm just going to focus on the cinematography. I think it is very impressive how they're telling stories by just using a specific camera angle or a specific palette of colors. Better Call Saul doesn't look like a TV show, it looks like a movie. This was actually intended. Directors Vince Gilligan and Peter Gould were bored of TV shows always looking the same. Better Call Saul works with wide angled shots and very small camera movements. The composition of many shots is also very unusual. The characters are often framed off center. The editing is also very calm. They were keeping the cutting patterns slow. Adding the wide shots and the slow cutting patterns together results in an easier way to follow the dialogue. The lighting plays a big part of the cinematic look as well. You are often seeing a single light source trapped in darkness. Vince described it as an island of light surrounded by an ocean of darkness. As the show is progressing, the plot is getting darker and so is the lighting. Mainly ambient or practical light is being used. The lighting is also used to frame characters. Less light means higher ISO, so they had to use high ISO cameras. Up to 5000 ISO without any grain, that is crazy. There are so many unique camera angles and shot compositions. They were putting the camera inside of a lot of unusual objects. A lot of these things combined together make Better Call Saul so cinematic. Like I said at the beginning, it feels like you're watching a movie, not a show. Colors are a big part of Better Call Saul. Or should I say, no colors? Better Call Saul uses black and white color grading to tell the audience that we are now watching Saul's story in the present time. Normally, colors are used to set a mood, but not in Saul. Saul is not only using it to set a mood, it's using it to tell a story. At the beginning, Goodman is wearing colorful suits, but as the show progresses, these suits are getting less and less colorful. Like I mentioned in the John Wick video, colors are letting you feel all kinds of emotions. Warmth, danger, or sadness. Especially the black and white color grading. Saul is mentally drained in the present time. The colorless look makes this even clearer. This chart shows you how every character gets more and more mentally damaged. Every single character goes from colorful to almost black. From warm to cold. Overall, the show uses colors perfectly. It's using it to tell a story and to visualize how the characters evolved throughout the whole storyline. I think this is exactly how colors should be used in TV shows or movies. I am absolutely in love with the whole Breaking Bad universe. I think I've watched Breaking Bad 4 times and Better Call Saul 3 times. Vince Gilligan has an understanding of amazing cinematography and a wonderful color usage. I haven't seen a single show or movie that has such a creative way of visualizing the emotional evolution of their characters. The framing is unusual, the lighting is moody and the colors are telling you a story. Better Call Saul is an absolute masterpiece in every aspect. Let it be the writing, storytelling or the cinematography. The actors are also masters of their work. Thank you for watching and stay safe.